for this hurdle, which is Team Liquid. Does that spin a curveball into things? Does that change any predictions for top four? Because it certainly would have to for me. I would, I would I imagine Liquid it would need in to. finals, probably. Yeah. I would imagine it would it would turn some heads, and they would have to like rethink their top four. And yeah. and I, we haven't mentioned this yet today, but it's also very important. If you're if you're the number one seed out of the group, every frag that you get, and, and more importantly, every map that you win, is super important mm. because when there's three teams in this first seed, only two can make it through into semifinals, and that's determined by map scores and then kill di differentials. So you have to play this at 100 percent and that's one thing I, I've been saying since yesterday about Rafa De Hang that I really respect is they play every match no matter what, even if they're up 40 to two, they played at 100 percent energy. Well, we are into the first map here between AMD and Team Liquid, following Latromi at the moment. He managed to clear up a couple of kills off the beginning. But a quick look at the lineups shows that we've got a visor Galena for Liquid and a Doom visor. It's the for first time AMD. I've seen Latromi not play Galena. <laughs> I'm not. I actually cannot think of another time I've seen him not play it. It's I'm, always been. I'm curious because we haven't seen lots of Blood Covenants this tournament so far, but I'm wondering if there's maybe something they have specific to this, or maybe they're feeling this is how they would like to pre they prefer to pressure uh, Team Liquid. Oh, speaking of Doom, Latromi will drop to Dehang and his totem. So initially AMD with a one frag lead, but it's all going to come down to this quad. It's all going to come down to the setup. You know Liquid are going to be very smart about this. They're going to set up at the right time. They're not going to be caught off guard of where they are, maybe try to go for a cheeky heavy. Nice little reel out of Dehang does catch cooler on the drop. We have 30 seconds to go. And very important to see how teams go about leading up to this. I think Liquid should have the advantage just for the fact that they do have this totem. You can heal up into the quad. And Rafa comes through the teleporter. He gets the first fragment to the Tromi. They're going to trade places. Cooler He's going to get the return kill. And Dehang just can't hit these rails. Missing he backs everything. off. That's, that's really kind of destroyed that moment for Team Liquid. If uh, Dehang could come in with the support, then they'd probably get the two for one just then. Uh, but instead, they're not able to. At least for Dehang's sake, he backs away and makes it only a one for one. Oh, they're gonna pincer hit on this one. Where's Cooler on the respawn? The Tromi's gonna actually go through the teleporter to buy some time for Cooler to get here. Totem with the stop going through. He actually gets dropped yet again. And Dehang on 74 HP. Oh. He will take down Cooler. Dances around those rockets. The Tromi looking to potentially come through. I wonder if he has Berserk, but it doesn't matter. He walks straight into a rocket, a quad damage rocket. And Dehang now on four kills from the quad. Really aggressive play then from AMD. They tried to really fight back knowing that Dehang was low. You can see Latromi going through that teleporter, but unfortunately for them, Dehang had a perfect timing on that rocket. Here and was able to shut down any further signs of aggression. 10 to 8 for the time being on Liquid. It's been swinging a little bit back and forth in the early stages. Uh, but uh, almost closing out this... Uh, oh my god, oh. that rail shot. Definitely closing out uh, the power-up with a solid frag and an even further lead. It had to be like a pixel he caught him on. Like the, the position he was dropping from, fantastic shot to hang and He kind of makes up for the, the missed rails earlier on before Quad did spawn sure. in. Definitely a consistent player here. Mega's up in 19, Heavy up in 24. And he's gonna start to get a couple of frags on the board. I mean, they're still not that far behind. It's only three frags. It's not like the, the run by Dehang really solidified them to have a giant lead. That lead can easily be pecked away at, and it has been. It's just now one kill difference between the two. I was expecting a much slower game between these two teams, but it's been actually been incredibly aggressive. Both of them fighting heavily for positions, for getting over to that Mega, to that Heavy. And we've seen also some interesting dynamics on the, uh, the power-up setups too. Uh, we're actually not too far away from the first protection of the map. And I think already these teams are going to be starting to think, what is their position going to be when they get towards it? I think, now. again, this is a time for Latromi to, shri uh, to shine. If he can just get a couple of hourglasses, get that Berserk back off cooldown so he can use it for the protection, speed in with it, and then he can run away if he needs to um, with his with his fist. Uh, what is what are Doom Slayer's fist name? Does he have any names for him? Is it names just Doom and Slayer? It's not like left and right? Lefty and righty, like you said. <laughs> Hey, you know, it's, you, gotta, you gotta have like a weird name to catch people off guard. Cooler gonna suicide so he can spawn back in to have the HP for this control. Mega up at 16 and Ooh. Tromi's just gonna get bounced into the air. Yeah, he got no damage at all basically there and that should be the hang able to take that uh, protection. That's two power-ups in a row now. They've only got a three frag advantage, but if they can build that to sort of five, six, then they can consider that a great success. But they've got to make sure their plays afterwards are also strong. So I feel like AMD tend to come back. It's a one for one as Rafa goes yeah. down to the Tommy there. And that happened last time too with Quad. Rafa did uh, get dropped because he was in a one on two. Atahang wasn't able to get there in time. Actually, I hope we get to go into comms soon with Liquid when the next uh, Quad does come up just to hear about how they do organize and, and set up their plan of attack into that. Again, I mean, Rafa. Whenever you hear him stream or whenever you hear him cast or something like that, he's always, you, you just really learn about how smart of a player he is and how much he actually thinks about every situation and every variable. 
Well, Cooler going up the bounce pad does get some decent damage, but we can see basically from the middle of the protection to now, it's still just a three frag advantage. Not a lot to work with. Well, Getting great. a one for one. Cooler, long distance rockets, not going with the machine gun for the time being. That's your teammate. Don't rocket him. There's not actually fire, been though. any like rail control, like like hardcore rail control, I guess we could say, um, out of both teams. They're more about just skirmishing and they're not really about locking down a part of the map. Cooler's gonna run out of rockets. Won't better hit that shot. 45 seconds till quads up. And Liquid does have their biggest lead of the game, currently at five. Yeah, you're right to point out the rail control, because I think that's something that like Ice Climbers and Super Awake are a lot more focused on with their sort of rail heavy play. Uh, but it's very much been a lot more close to the item, specifically power up mega area uh, in this instance. Uh, but we have actually got uh, the ability to go on the comms to check out Liquid. It's about 20 seconds away from quad damage, so uh, let's find out what they're saying. Like 170? Yeah. I got it. Okay, going rocket. Okay. 14 is heavy. I'm with. Let's go. I'm spamming it. I can take. Spamming it for you. Mech is up. You go, tank. Killing. LG, LG. Shards. Nailed together. Okay. Cancel, he's left. I'm on heavy. I got 44. Slick comes there by Liquid. Nice because I start to the power up run. Securing, you can see they're holding those uh, entrances towards the power up. And Rafa building a really nice run. You can see that it's extended even further, almost a 10 frag advantage for them. Yeah, this is looking really good for them. I mean, a three for three for power ups now. I can't even imagine in terms of Mega and Heavy how many they've been able to pick up compared to AMD. But stuff they've been all Liquid for the most part. And I think one thing I, I love about their comms is they, 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 they do a lot more in the stream. I didn't really hear it much there. Is that there's they say cancel a lot. So like when they say okay, like like one nail, and then if they like go check it out and he's not there, they say cancel. Just let the other one know that okay, he's not there. You know, like never mind, forget about that. But they also you know call their their path into quad. Raph said okay, I'm going rockets. Said I can take it. And then Dehang's like, all right, I'm gonna spam for you so you can pick it up. Really good teamwork between the two. And this this run that they've been able to get with these three power ups now has netted them this giant lead. Yeah, AMD have been pretty lackluster for the last minute and a half. They've got a lot of work to do to push back into this. Starting with a, a little bit of heavy control is going to do well, but that was about 120 nails that went out, and Cooler hit uh, zero. <laughs> it's harsh. <laughs> it's harsh. It's right, though. It's true. And they've actually lost control of Mega for quite a while. Heavy's been on the side of Liquid for a good amount of times. You see a heavy investment of AMD to make sure to lock down Mega, to have some sort of lifeline here to take away stack from Liquid and obviously make them stronger. We've got a we've got a special request from chat now, guys, so we're going to be able to actually go over to some of the AMD comps and just... Well, not, I'm not going to understand much of it, but I know there's some people who, who definitely will. Let's go over to that. Did you actually hear it, by the way, Suit? I, I, I heard. He, I heard him say in Russian, uh, okay, the cooler. <laughs> I, I will go heavy. <laughs> they... I, okay, I don't understand Russian, but from the tone of it, it sounds like they were discussing almost something else, because there was a lot of talking going on, but they were, all, they were both standing below bridge, so I don't know if they were trying to strategize and like take a second to say, you know, let's let's try and build something for the next situation, the next power-up, but I'm uh, just, just throwing the idea out there. I, I love to yeah. hear a translation. They've not had consistent control of any of these items. Again, Rafa sneaks in after Kula took the last Mega. Uh, Heavy's just been in full control of Liquid. One HP for Rafa, gets the kill, and Dehang is just going to actually back off Heavy. So, as you were saying before, you don't necessarily need to pick up an item right away. You can just back off. I mean, you can let them take it, but then come back stronger and, and finish them off for a kill. Well, a lot of uh, the uh, players for AMD fighting on the pillars area. Uh, Dehang just sat there on his own, so sadly not going to be able to do much. But as long as he doesn't give up any sort of free frags much for the remainder of the match, and they're able to get at least a one for two, uh, sorry, yeah, one for two trade, they should be able to coast towards victory on map one. I'm still not sold by the Doom on this map. I feel like Galena, as we've already seen with uh, Dehang alone, He's got two kills on the Tromi by putting a, a totem right out the teleporter. It gives you so much power up control because, like, you lock down, well, not necessarily lock down fully, but you prevent a team from easily walking through, especially a berserking Doom. 
And if he does come through, you're going to do 100 damage. It mm. makes him even squishier to finish him off. So I'm not really a big fan of the Doom here. I, I understand that gives you more mobility so you can get things like like uh, Rail, but you can see again, <laughs> Dahang gets a kill onto Latromi just as we talk about it with the totem. Dahang has had an absolute storm of a game. 26 for 10 right now. You look over at Latromi. I've been picking him up a lot, but he's not really been able to have a presence on this map. How long some rather he stayed on Galena? at least able to provide some of that totem support and it's it's not been the case they're almost 20 kills behind with little hope now and making it back and we talk about power up control like for instance turtle recall we saw yesterday that was their main focus well right now liquid are five for five in power ups on blood covenant not a single time have we seen amd be able to take it or even properly set up for it again a lot of that's due just to the totem but Tromi's died three times now coming through that teleporter because to is constantly keeping a totem there when the power up is about to spawn oh that was oh. nice that's a little drive by rail <sighs> trying to get the angle the pillar gets in the way of him but that's all good these rails don't mean too much anymore as long as he sticks uh well, relatively close 21 frags 22 now Zoo. oh my god and the hang, he's getting the one for ones. I feel like we keep playing like this. I mean, you can see why everyone considers them to easily be top four, if not top two team in this tournament. I'm curious what the next map's going to be like. I'm not going to write out AMD straight away. Uh, I think we could see a very different map too. Uh, they certainly look good at the beginning of the first five minutes of this map, but all of a sudden... I mean, you could see the focus, or hear the focus, in the comms especially. There was a, sp a certain drive there from Liquid, and they absolutely buckled down and nailed that on home. Yeah, and again, I mean, when you have every power-up, every protection, every quad, you can expect something like that to happen. Mm. You know, you need to see more emphasis out of AMD on that. Especially, I think that's something that this tournament has kind of shown, is emphasis on these power-ups and what you can accomplish from it. Yeah, well, to hang with 30 frags, uh, the back end of 2018 he was definitely the best player for me after taking that dreamhack winter victory in duel and in sacrifice uh, with uh, the liquid boys um and he's continuing to have a great tournament now dealing a lot of damage you know he's playing the galena as well and he is just getting frag after frag so yeah the hang playing that's out the, of his mind well that's the crazy like good thing about liquid is that technically they can both play whatever they need to mm -hmm. like if the hang's like no nah, i want to do vijas this map Te technically they can yeah. Uh, especially when it came to clutch, I remember talking to Rafa, and he's like, yeah, well, Dehane can play clutch, or I can play clutch. It's maybe map dependent on what they want to pair it with, mm -hmm. but they have the ability to interchange roles. And as we were, I, th I don't know if we're talking about this in the car or here, but with Cooler, it was, actually, yeah, he was talking to Latromi, and I think he said in the car that it's like, why are you playing Galena? Like, wh why not play Visor, who's more of like a, a champion you can use to help get you more kills? Mm -hmm. He's like, that's just because Cooler's playing them. So I was like, all right, I'll play Galena. <laughs> and I wonder if like yeah. you have more of you know viability and being able to switch to different champions. I know Cooler can play Galena. I know Latromi yeah. can play Visor, but having the ability to be flexible and actually practicing the it, flexibility is worth would be practicing it. If you're practicing only one champion composition and you're not experimenting around that, so actually, if we switch the roles up, we might benefit from that somehow. Yeah. Even if it's map dependent or something like that, I think it's really worth experimenting. A lot of people get stuck into some habits or they make some decisions and they terrified to stray away from it. I don't want to say that is what is happening with AMD, but I might have incidentally said that, so. Mm. <laughs> That's fine. Well, we are moving into map two. It is Corrupted Keep between Liquid and AMD. Are Liquid going to sail through this group stage and make it over to day three? Oh, oh AMD nice. got some fight. We'll see you later, Cooler. Airborne. What's better, the Cypherine or the Coolerine? The Coolerine sounds a bit, sounds a bit better. Oh. Ooh. Ooh. No, I saw some stronger. N initially, Dehang was sitting on uh, Galena. Actually, sorry. No, he was on, on Visor. It, it would have been no, straight, okay. straight away because it was he my had eyes. the ability. I have bad eyes. <laughs> we see, <laughs> we see Latrovi and uh, Kula going back over to the Visor Galena combo. It's what I think uh, I'm more comfortable watching them play. Um, but this was their choice. AMD's choice since uh, since Liquid did have the final map choice. And Dehang again. I mean. So much HP to work with here. Latromi and Cooler able to pick on Rafa as he's by himself. The hang comes in for a nice frag. We've seen almost every time Cooler and Latromi love to hold this room. Even Cooler and uh, Neutrino. Maybe it's more of a Cooler thing than, than more of a Cooler Latromi thing. They want to hold LG. They want to maintain that position, which also makes them very susceptible to a peaker explosion if you come in from a very good angle. Well, what I saw on the last game between Maestro and AMD is that when they were playing Crocs of Keep, it was the people who had got the most LG control, or the most recent LG control uh, by the Mega Health, 
that were starting to make that make that lead or create the comeback. So it's really, if those are the telling signs, you need to have mega room control, have the lightning gun. And yeah, these guys are going to have to fight for it because the position is so valuable. And we're starting to see as like people play more and more and more that on your maps like Awoken, on your maps like Corrupted Keep, there's these set areas that you want to maintain control of. Awoken, the rail room, uh, Corrupted Keep, the LG room, as we've been saying. There are some maps like Blood Run where you don't really lock down control of a certain part of the map. It's just more of a free-for-all of where you actually do fight. And Tromic goes down just before, so Cool is not able to uh, fire rockets from above. It's going to be a free quad in the way of Liquid. And with Rafa now, let's see if he can chase up uh, any more information from the hang. Nothing over a heavy. Time to chase uh, around and head over to Mega Room. I do like how, well, I liked how AMD was playing this one, just trying to sit back, not trying to rush the quad down, just trying to wait it out, which is almost now gone, and it's limited Rafa to only one kill. Obviously two before, um, the quad actually spawned in, but only one kill quad run. Uh, I think it's very acceptable for AMD. Yeah. Could definitely be worse. You can see Pika making his way to one of the players then. Dahang's going to be able to finish off cool. That could have been the initial damage. And they're going to have to wait to find a way to shut down the Strog. Again, the hang control playing Strog on this map. No European teams are doing that. And we do know that he is a bit of a, a trend setter. This could be uh, definitely a sort of special trick up there. Steve's bringing it to DreamHack Tour. Let's just look how the transition are on the map. They get Vega, they go over to Heavy. Oh. They are strangleholding against AMD here, preventing them from getting any summits of control at all. Maybe Kubrick can drop to get Mega. He always have the trim maps aside, so they will be able to finally secure a Mega and get a kill to Rafa. But the pressure was still there. Every pickup that AMD does get, it's not free. It's not easy. Liquid make them work for it. Akromi pressuring over by Heavy. Oh, the Pika is going to come straight at him, and there's nothing he can do. He was just loading those rockets onto Tribal area, and he was done for. The thing is, there's only... Ooh. What, three weapons I can deal with Peeker instantly? The shotgun, the rail, and the rocket. So, there's no rail. Rockets are going to take self-damage, and the shotgun I don't think he even had. Hey, you and you have to wait for them to be close. I don't know if there's anything else. Could you go for a tri-bolt Peeker kill? I don't know. You could. I mean, yeah. Try. Yeah, yeah, that's true. That's true. You do 100, and Peeker, I think, only has 80. But it's, again, it requires even more accuracy. Being able to hit it with something else, you're probably going to give yourself an easier time. I'm going to fighting for the protection, but that is going to be taken. Uh, by the AMD players. Rafa just trying to pick on the player who hasn't got protection but is not able to get anything. Cooler trying to project that texture, uh, trajectory with the nail gun. But he's got a stack with that mega health. He's going to tell Latromi, hang back, don't give up a kill at all, and we can go. He should have just seen the heavy. Maybe he can tell him to go over there, but I think Rafa's going to be able to pick it up. Or was that the hang, in fact? No, it's Rafa so, okay. playing on uh, playing Galena. Ooh, fortunate again. Protection picked up. Not really one kill. And the actually, Tromi goes down. That and they netted a negative from that. Negative one with the Tromi going down. And then again with Cooler down at the end. I don't know if there's a certain field of view that Cooler's playing with, but I saw the heavy on a, his side of the screen. And uh, he didn't go for it. Gave it away. And you know, maybe they would have had those extra resources necessary to uh, continue to get some more frags. But otherwise, it is liquid. Smashing AMD with an 11 frag advantage. They're always there together. <clears throat> whether it's heavy, whether it's mega, they're sticking together and fighting for these power ups or these pickups every single time. Peeker coming in yet again. Doesn't get the. Ooh. I think he got like 31, was that, if I saw correctly? I think the LG did actually take down the Peeker before, but it was close enough to do some st some damage still. Yeah. Want to hang. They pushed out the. Oh. Thought he was falling off the map. Oh my god, it's still going alive. Rocket from Cooler eventually gonna hit its mark. But it is Liquid that have got control here. We've got another cycle of uh, items too before we do get quad. And this quad is going to be massive because this can give Liquid such a big lead. They already have 12 frags. We'll be going to the comms shortly. Not just yet, but 25 seconds to go on the quad. Mega about to spawn in. And wrap to hang. They're just looking unstoppable, honestly, Zoot. Yeah, I don't really know what AMD can do at this point. They just have more control at Mega or so. I don't know. But guys, let's jump over into Liquid comms uh, leading towards this quad. I have to reset. Okay, I got heavy. 25. Alright, power up. From Plat, Galena, I threw a quad totem on it. He's not that healthy. Yep. Mega They're 10, weak Mega at Mega, 10. both. both He's weak. so weak. Rush! I got him zoned out. I got it, I got it. I got it, I got it. Okay, 43 Mega. Are you good? Are you good? Yeah, yeah, I'm, on, okay. I'm 120. Heavy, 26. Okay. I'm at outer. 
Awesome comms there, recognizing how weak uh, AMD was with the power-up, and they decided to bite the bullet, go in for the rush of the machine gun. They knew that the mega health was up, and it was going to be something that AMD wanted, and they just still locked it down, had the resources then to take themselves, and they've now extended that frag lead. Beautiful play from Liquid. 15, very reminiscent of Blood Covenant, even though AMD was able to get two power-ups this time. It's only one and a half, because they didn't even get to actually use the quad there. So Liquid looking so strong at AMD. We're just struggling to really get into this one. Again, a lot of these these uh, major er, mega health and, and heavy armors are just being prevented. They're not giving they're being given a chance, most importantly. Trying to be able to get a kill into hang, trying to transition over to Mega. They have the timing it. They know it's up very, very short. They're gonna get a nice two-on-one in Rafa. We'll net them the kill. But again, to hang's gonna be there. To hang gets one. Might be able to get a second. It's a fantastic first rocket in, but so does Latromi. But again, to hang gets the gets the mega and also gets even more overstack from the kill they had on Cooler above the statue. Well, guys, we we heard the, we heard the, the feedback. You like it? We're going to jump into a bit more AMD comms as we lead up to protection. Drop minus 100 on our team. Yeah, just me. Very different tone. Uh, oh, yeah. sorry, that was a sexy use of Peeker there. <laughs> he just he sits there on the heavy stealth, uses Peeker to sit up high to do damage to anyone oh. coming. That's going to be a pummel onto the Tromi. And most certainly, that's going to be almost the end of the map here and the match. Yeah. Guaranteeing Liquid that first seed out of the group. You can always tell when there's a lot less noise in the comms and a lot less communication going on. They might just be kind of saying back, you know what, accepting fate. Yeah. I mean, when you're down this much, almost 20 frags again. And the thing is, what's so important for Liquid here, um, they have to keep you know reiterating over the course of today, is your map score matters, and so does your kill frag or your kill depth differential. Mm -hmm. And they have two maps in a row now, had a 20 frag lead at the end of the map. Yeah, that, that almost guarantees them a, sem a semifinal berth. The, it's a it's a huge score for them. You can tell they're playing for every single one. You know, Rafa and Dahang are trying to have a perfect game. They're gonna find the last frag. That was 50 to 27, I think. You know what? I think it's fair. Yeah, Liquid I a favorite it. in that game, but yeah. I was not expecting it to be quite as one-sided as that. That was a uh, really, really solid by the Americans. That's true. I mean, you also, I mean, you hear the comms, you hear how much they understand. Again, like into the the picking phase of the maps, like the fact that Rafa took you know half a half a minute to actually think about Blood Run or Runes of Sardoth shows he's really thinking about what he wants to do and what they should go to. And, and I was talking to Ketchup actually in the break we had before this match, and he was saying Rafa Dehaim during the entire last map uh, match of AMD and Maestro were sitting sitting there in the crowd watching, analyzing the entire play that they saw and figuring out what they could do to make mm -hmm. those weaknesses work for, work out for them. Just got a shout out to Dehaim as he dropped another 30 bomb in that game. 31 rags in fact yeah. that he had. I mean, absolutely solid, solid stuff. I think both 